a hunting license when you're 12, a driver's license at 16, and you can become a soldier at 18, but no beer until you're 21. There's been a quiet push online to change that. Now there's a louder one. The quiet move to lower the drinking age just got a lot louder. More than 100 university presidents, including those at Duke, Johns Hopkins, and Ohio State, have signed the Amethyst Initiative, urging 21 is not working because it fosters a culture of dangerous clandestine binge drinking conducted off campus. The conclusion of these presidents is that it's important to find a way to, to take the underground drinking that is forced by the 21-year-old drinking age, find a way to bring that back above ground to confront it and to talk to our students about drinking responsibly. Johns Hopkins says that's difficult to do when you're acting as the enforcer, something Hopkins hasn't shied away from. 350 of its 4,000 students faced disciplinary charges last year for underage drinking. But Mothers Against Drunk Driving says the Amethyst Initiative is irresponsible. One third of accidents involving teenagers are alcohol related. Mad adds these college presidents are looking for an easy way out of an inconvenient problem. As the mother of a high school senior, it alarms me personally as well, because I would not want my daughter to even contemplate going to a college where a university president has signed on to this initiative. The university presidents say they're not looking for an easy way out, but taking on a difficult fight against a culture that celebrates secretive underage drinking. This is insane. No, man. This is college. College, a new movie out next week, features high school students delighting in the anticipated debauchery of their prospective college. Hello? Pictures of underage drunken students partying away from the prying eyes of adults litter Facebook. It begs the question, what's better, drinking legally on campus at 18 or off campus illegally? I think it would be a good idea. I think it's better that young people, if they're allowed to drink in, say, a bar or an open area, they'll be more controlled. I think a lot of students wouldn't be urged to actually drink as much if the drinking age was lower. Others clearly don't agree, and that's fine with those who've signed the Amethyst Initiative. If you've got a better idea, they say, they'd like to hear it. And just so you know, 34% of colleges ban alcohol on campus for any student. 43% of all schools prohibited alcohol in residence halls. So the colleges are trying to do something, but will the problem still persist? It's a real problem, and they got to figure out a solution. I'm glad they're at least discussing this. Right, they just want to debate the issue, and they welcome Mads' output, and Mads says that it's willing to debate the university presidents as well. All right, good. Uh, thanks for doing the story.